Hello. Today on Living English, we're going to look at the words we use to plan when we should meet someone. We call this making arrangements. First, watch our drama to see how Anne and Sarah make arrangements to visit some wineries. Good morning. Good morning. Are you feeling better today? Yes, thank you. What's on the agenda? I'm thinking about this trip to the wineries. Mm -hmm. I want to meet your main suppliers and talk to them about the market. Great. <laughs> They've been dying to meet you. Uh, when do you want to go? As soon as possible. How about tomorrow? I can't tomorrow. I've got some other appointments. Uh, what about the day after tomorrow? Uh, yes, that's good. It's Monday today, so that will be Wednesday. What date is that? Uh, the 5th of November. OK. What time shall we meet? I'll pick you up at 9 o'clock. Good. How many wineries do you think we'll be able to see? I'm not sure. Four or five? Uh, definitely our biggest suppliers uh, and maybe a few surprises. Oh, I can't wait. Will it take all day? Most of the day. I'll start ringing now and let them know that we've got a very important client all the way from Singapore. <laughs> Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Let's take a closer look at how to plan something. Anne and Sarah have to plan the best day for both of them to visit the wineries. Listen to how they find out what the best day is. Uh, when do you want to go? As soon as possible. Mm -hmm. How about tomorrow? First, Sarah asks, when do you want to go? When asks about the time. Want to asks about what Anne hopes to do. Practice with the clip. Uh, when do you want to go? Anne replies, as soon as possible. This means that she wants to go very soon, in the next few days. It's a common expression. Try saying it with Anne. Uh, when do you want to go? Mm -hmm. How about tomorrow? Uh, when do you want to go? As soon as possible. Mm -hmm. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow is the day after today. Anne does want to go soon. What does Sarah say to that? I can't tomorrow. I've got some other appointments. She can't tomorrow. She's not able to go tomorrow. Can't is the usual way of saying cannot. She cannot go tomorrow. Practice with the clip. I've got some other appointments. I can't tomorrow. I've got some other appointments. Now listen to what Sarah suggests. Uh, what about the day after tomorrow? What about? We say what about or how about when we're making suggestions. Here's Anne's first suggestion again. Mm -hmm. How about tomorrow? And here's Sarah's suggestion. Uh, what about the day after tomorrow? And what does Anne think about that suggestion? Ah, uh, yes, that's good. It's Monday today, so that will be Wednesday. So, Wednesday is the day to go to the wineries. Not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. A quick question. If today is Monday, what is tomorrow? Tuesday. But Anne needs to find out about the day after tomorrow, Wednesday. Listen. What date is that? Uh, the 5th of November. OK. What time shall we meet? I'll pick you up at 9 o'clock. It's time to say hello to Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Brenton. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to learn about the words we use to talk about dates. Here's Sarah to remind us of the date Anne will visit the wineries. Uh, the 5th of November. When we say a date, we use the and the adjectival number for the day, the 5th, and say of, and then the month, the 5th of November. Let's have a close look at adjectival numbers. Help me, Brenton. There are five things in this bag. 
take one out. What is it? It's a ball. So, the first object Brenton took out is a ball. What's next? It's a video. That's the second object. Next, we have a cap. That's the third object to appear. And the next is a kangaroo. That's the fourth object. And here's the last one. It's a book. It's also the fifth object. These type of numbers tell us the order of things in time. What was before something else? So, can you remember which object was third? You help me. What was third? The cap was third. What was the cap after? The cap was after the video. What was the cap before? The cap was before the kangaroo. And what was second? The video was second. What was the video after? The video was after the ball. What was the video before? The video was before the cap. What was fourth? The kangaroo was fourth. What was first? The ball was first. And what was fifth? The book was fifth. And we can also say the book was last because there was nothing after the book. It's not easy to say fifth. Have a go at saying the 5th of November with Sarah. Uh, the 5th of November. Which program are we doing today, Brenton? This is our 12th program. All of the adjectival numbers, except for first, second and third, have this th sound on the end, such as ninth and sixteenth. Often, we just write the number followed by the th. The ones with a v sound, five and twelve, change their v sounds to f sounds. Fifth, twelfth. Now see if you can remember what number program this is. It's the 12th. There can be 31 days in a month. How do you say 20 and 30? Instead of just a th sound, we add an f sound. 20th, 30th. I see that the spelling changes too. The Y's on the end change to I's. What about 23? That's the 23rd. And 31? That's the 31st. Let's try some on our viewers. How do you say this date? The 22nd of June. How do you say this date? The 30th of June. And this one? The 15th of May. And this one? The 2nd of July. Let's listen to the date Sarah and Anne will visit the wineries one last time. The 5th of November. When is your birthday, Brenton? the 19th of June. His birthday is on the 19th of June. When's your birthday? 
Oh. I'm sorry your birthday is not today, Brenton, because I made you a cake. Thank you. That's a beautiful cake. Would you like some? Oh, yes, please. Okay. How much? Oh, that's too much. That's a half of the cake. Okay. That's still too much. That's a quarter of the cake. All right. Can you manage this? I'll try. That's an eighth of the cake. We call these numbers fractions. They are less than one. Except for half and quarter, the numbers are the same as the numbers we use for dates. But we always say an or a or one before the numbers. So let's look at them again. Repeat the fractions after me. This is a half of the cake. I could also say it's one half of the cake. This is a quarter of the cake or one quarter of the cake. This is an eighth of the cake. I say an instead of a because eighth starts with a vowel sound. Can we eat the cake now? First, let's review how we talk about time. Listen to Anne and Sarah again. What time shall we meet? I'll pick you up at nine o'clock. Did you hear the word Sarah used before the time? She said, at nine o'clock. Remember, when we talk about the time, we use the words at and on in different ways. Repeat the phrase with Sarah. I'll pick you up at nine o'clock. I'll pick you up at nine o'clock. But we use a different word when we say a day. When are you working with us next week, Brenton? On Tuesday. So we use on if we're talking about the day. What time will you be working on Tuesday? I'm starting at nine o'clock on Tuesday. So we use at for the time and on for the day. I'll see you at nine o'clock on Tuesday, Brenton. I'll see you then. And that's all we have for today. Thank you.